All right, guys, back to work on the pond today. We took a little bit of time off, but the liner is coming in about five days. So unfortunately today I'm doing a little bit more digging. I'm over digging. But we just gotta get a little trench going, like the one back here, to kinda tuck the liner into. We've got a little bit done, but I gotta go all the way around. All right, finished digging the trench last night. Pond liner is supposed to come in two days, so we're doing final prep. Today, I'm gonna to start working on the filtration system, and we're actually trying to find so many ways to save money that we took a trip to the recycling center to try to find this pipe. We are at the scrapyard, and we're looking for a cheap way to make the snorkel for the bog filter, and we think we found it. Everything here is metal. Except for? <laughs> Except for one thing. I think that's it. Look at those beauties. I think that's perfect. Well, let's go find out how much this is. He wanted 125 bucks for used PVC pipe. I don't know if it's worth using something used. And camera is pretty shaky because Shelby's holding it. <laughs> She's never held a camera before. <laughs> These are difficult decisions. It's really not much to look at, is it? Yeah. Set it up right there where you're going to. It, it falls in the crack. See? <laughs> Whoops. Pretty successful. We just bought a part that they sell for 400. It's not as pretty, but it's going to work fine. So, 50 bucks. Bye, junkyard. I know this all looks really cheap and janky, but it's gonna do the job and it's gonna save us like a thousand dollars. It's DIY. Yeah. Donnie style. It's gonna be ugly. It's not gonna be ugly. But it should work. And Look it's at gonna... that. Look at that equidistant spacing. Yeah, I actually measured that. See? All right, I got a helper today. Yeah. I got Dylan here. Help us with the pond liner and the pond underlayment. But he said he had to hold the chicks first. I did. Which one's this? Roger. Oh, that's Roger. Oh yeah, Roger, by the way, was a girl. A little girl. So this is now Roger. <laughs> and who this used to be? That used to be Dixie. And now. A baby baby. That's Dixie. So. Sorry about that, Roger. <laughs> You're Roger. <laughs> We're getting rid of all the rocks so that it doesn't peer through the underlayment and the liner. And it's good bonding just to throw stuff. <laughs> I like the jump throw. <laughs> I, feel, I feel like it helps me. Oh my god! Yeah. Lily, we put some rocks on all the lines so it doesn't blow away. 
You see that, everybody? You see what she does when I ask her for help? Palm forehead. Now look, it's the last cut. It's like, it's like a golden spike moment. Wait. <laughs> what about all that? And that. It's happening. Pond liner is officially here. Nani is getting his tractor. Magic is about to happen. You know this pond's not for swimming, right? So we're not gonna swim in it? Probably not. It's for catching fish. And and maybe just looking at fish and then catching. I'm not excited about the pond anymore. <laughs> So today we're gonna to move the liner a little bit and we're gonna get some rock and start getting some rocks put in. So this is fun. Went to get some rock and the guy hit my truck with his loader. Still waiting on a lot of parts for the filter. So while I'm waiting, I'm gonna start going and getting rock to rockscape it. Rockscape, I don't know is that what it's called. And in order to avoid this disaster from happening again. I'm gonna build a little box for my trailer, which is intended to haul tractors, but it's gonna be hauling rock. All right, no more dents when I get rock. It's done. Wasted a couple hours doing it, but it's mostly because I did it by myself and nobody helped me. It took 20 minutes and we did it together. All by myself, alone. Much better. So, we finally got all the materials in the mail. After forever, two weeks. And somehow, magically, this is all gonna go together. Attached to that thing. It's all gonna be hidden, folks. Just calm down. I know what you're thinking. We added a layer of underlayment on the top. So I guess overlayment. And we're hoping that it slows down rocks and sand from sliding down because the liner is so slick. And so they recommended using this to help retain some of the rock and gravel. We'll see. All right, we're gonna get a little nerdy. Talk pond filter for a second, so. If you're not into pond filters, you might want to fast forward 30 seconds. So the water's gonna go up through here. I'll clean that up and hide it a little bit. Up through this pipe, up through this hose, it's all gonna be hidden in rock. 
and then it's going to come down into here which is the bog filter or the wetland filter once the water comes in it's going to hit what i would call a diffuser where it's going to slow down the water the water is going to come out of these holes and it's going to slowly rise up and it's going to rise up through a series of rocks it's going to start with something big like this like six to eight inch rock and then a smaller courses of rock as it goes higher and higher and higher and then it's going to have plants in here to help filter out all the dirt and fish waste that's coming through this is definitely a diy filter you could find a filter like this online for upwards of a thousand dollars this one honestly probably cost me a hundred bucks plus all the plumbing it's not as good it's not as nice but i think it's going to get the job done so this guy over here is just a clean out so every once in a while we could flush the water down and clean it up from in here so i'm about to test it hope that it works it's my first time testing it we'll see how it goes i hear it Awesome. And hopefully as the water rises, it'll start coming out of every little slot and really distribute the water. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I guess. Disappointing morning on the pond project for us. Uh, we started filling up the bog filter and putting some rocks in it. And what happened is the liner got a little bit too tight once the water weight was here and some water weight was here. And we didn't leave enough slack in the liner here. And it's not actually touching the ground. And if we were to put too much weight on this, it would stretch and tear. So we got to drain this water and pull the liner this way a little bit. A big problem we're going to have is that we don't have any liner to spare on this side. So we're gonna have to rework the shape of this bog filter. Super disappointing morning, but I guess that's the reality of doing your own projects like this and being a rookie. Shelby, weren't you saying there's nothing better than redoing what you've already done? I was saying that. You know what I wanna do this morning? It was so fun, let's do it again. Good use of our time. We're gonna try building that back up. And we also felt some rocks under here, so we're gonna get them out while we're at it. That's what it looks like under a pond. Remember that one time we did not order the right size liner? I think we're gonna go ahead and call this the end of video number two on the pond. But hey, what? We're gonna end in this disaster. Yeah, it'll be like a to be continued, like a dramatic finish of a episode of a show that you like. And you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta see if they get it fixed. That's so sad. Better subscribe, I guess. <laughs> see if we fix this disaster. We'll try. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Video three coming soon.